This is my radio announcer voice. So I just checked my, uh... I just checked my Discord, the Discord that I spend the majority of the... Yeah. <laughs> the, the Discord that I spend the majority of my time in. I got morning voice now, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I spent the check the Discord that I spend the majority of my time in. And what do I see? Well, I see. I don't know. I'm trying to do like some kind of radio announcer or TV announcer kind of thing, but I don't think I can do it very well. Not consistently, anyway. Um, so I come back and I just see... Do, do, do. Yama epic. Yama is indeed epic by somebody else, and I'm like, aww. Makes you feel good when you when you when you hop into the Discord and you see people talking about you, and the only things they're saying are positive, and I'm like, oh, you guys are great. You guys are lovely. I love you. I love it. Makes me makes me makes me cry. Got tears in my eyes. I used to, uh, yeah, I got, uh, I, I know I'm liked, you know, like, like, logically speaking, I'm, I'm well aware that, uh, I'm a fun person, and I'm, I'm easy to get along with, and, and, uh, people generally tend to, uh, like me, and I, I generally tend to be fairly likable, and, 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 you know, all, all this thing, like, I'm not, I'm not being conceited or anything like that, logically I understand that, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a fairly decent friend to have for the most part. I have my flaws, as do everybody, but that's, you know, everybody has flaws, right? Um, and I'm a, I'm a fairly likable person. That's that's all I'm going with it. No, <laughs> uh, I understand that, right? But you you still get anxieties about it, right? You still get anxieties about it. You still sit there every now and then being like, I wonder if I'm just like really annoying. And like, I am. <laughs> I, de I definitely am annoying at times, but it's uh, it's still nice to, to get that like, like reaffirmed sort of feelings of, uh, of, of being liked and, and respected and, and wanted, you know? It always makes me feel good. I think it makes most people feel good, right? When you're when you're sure that the people you 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 spend your time with really want to be spending their time with you, you know. That always feels good. That always feels good. So that's what uh, that's what has happened to me just now. And that's why I feel good now. Because my uh, my friends have said that I'm epic when I'm not even there. They're just talking about me because they wanna. They wanna say good things about me. That's a, that's a nice feeling to have. It's a nice it's a nice feeling to have for sure. But um, anyway, we'll uh, we'll talk about what else happened this weekend. This past weekend was. Uh, I don't know if I want to get into this one. This is a giant pipe. Um, I don't know if I want to. I might. Uh, we'll 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 skirt around the issue a little bit. For a number of reasons, and it's not an inheritance. But for a number of reasons, I uh, I might actually be able to move out sooner than I expected, which is is really really cool. Don't follow my head. Don't follow my head. Which is really really cool. Um, I'm not sure when. It, it could be anywhere, depending on how the future kind of goes. Um, anywhere from like a month early to like a year early than expected. You know, like it it could actually be fairly. Um, depending on how things go, and I'm not, I don't know that it's a good thing for it to go, you know, well, quote unquote, and uh, for me to be able to move out earlier than expected, like way earlier than expected. I wouldn't necessarily say it's definitively a good thing, but it would be definitely beneficial to me if it uh, if it were to come to to pass. But regardless, um, definitely at least at this point in time, probably. I'm I'm like three months ahead of schedule at this point, <laughs> which is uh, is really really nice. Um, so that's uh, that's cool. A one eighty trick shot, baby. 
not really a trick shot, but a normal shot that was 180. Um, just got a message from somebody else. It is my thumbnail commissioning friend who is saying that Hotline Miami 1 and 2 are only $5 together. Which is definitely a steal. So if uh, y'all are watching this and... Hey, buddy! If y'all are watching this and it's still on sale, like, definitely pick that up. Hotline Miami is a fantastic game. Yeah, because of uh, reasons, I, uh, I am pretty far ahead of schedule for moving out. And uh, because of similar reasons, that might continue to accelerate. Until at a certain point, I'm able to kind of get going, which is fun, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to get into it too much, but not an inheritance. Nobody died, but I don't really want to talk about it so much, um, which is okay. I don't have to talk about everything. I'm allowed to not want to talk about certain things, you know? I'm allowed to, to not want that. I want to hide that. You know, it's, it's weird because even when I don't have um, my, like, I don't have my webcam set up. I do have a webcam. It's sitting right here. It holds up my mouse cable. I use it to, uh, it's got like a little clamp and I use that, uh, I route my mouse cable through that clamp and then I use the weights of the webcam to hold my cable on my desk so that my cable doesn't like fall off and then drag my mouse around and it keeps the mouse kind of feeling pretty smooth and um, the cable doesn't really get stuck on stuff, and I can move it around all I want, which is good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't use it though. But even when I'm not using it, it's not even plugged in. Um, even when it's it's not plugged in, I still like don't want to have stuff <laughs> for some reason when I'm recording um, that is sensitive up, like on my phone or. Um, like on my desk or something like that. Like just, just in case. You know, what if it was plugged in, and what if it was recording? Like I can see my preview. It's not there, but like it's this weird sort of like irrational fear behind it that uh, has kind of got me stuck. You know? Hey, hey, I love, I love racking up a whole bunch of them and then just like bang, 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 bang. You know? Oh, it feels good. It feels good, dude. Feels good, man. I'm only doing two KF2 episodes. It's so weird being like not having a whole lot of stuff to do. It's, it's I just I feel like I should be doing more, but there really isn't anything to do. So I mean, I guess that's like as far as that goes. But I do have a stream today, which is nice. I might actually start streaming Monster Hunter more often, or even uh, some other stuff. You know, I actually um. I've joined a, uh, one of my friends, it was like, what a coincidence, right? Like, just out of nowhere. Actually, I got a comment recently talking about how, uh, like, all your friends are, uh, playing Minecraft right now, and it's like the whole world is, is back on, like, a Minecraft kick. I guess it's probably because 116 has been getting a lot of, uh, attention lately, which is cool. With the Nether update and all that. Um... But, uh, 116 has been getting a whole lot of, uh, attention, and, and there's been some, some kind of, like, uh, stuff in the media about it and whatnot, you know, advertising and, and stuff, marketing, not necessarily, I don't know, it's, it's like word of mouth kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But, um, anyway, so one of my, one of my friends actually was, uh, talking about starting up a like YouTuber server similar to Hermitcraft. Like they were like I didn't I didn't raise the the topic at all. They they were just like asking me advice about it cuz they they know that uh not not me specifically but the Discord that I'm in. Um they're asking the Discord about uh, advice on setting up a Minecraft server cuz they wanted to get this thing running. And I'm like well I'm interested in joining, I guess. So it's uh, ooh, hello. It's uh, it's gonna be a, a server full of uh, mostly friends, not necessarily closest friends of mine, but definitely uh, friends. It's actually uh, I played one of their music 
a while back. Um, he had uh, with his wife. Um, I believe it's the inevitable me or something like that. I can't remember the name. I'm terrible for that. Um, believe it's the inevitable me. Um, we played some of their music a while back, which was cool. We can't really have it going too much because it's got uh, lyrics in it, but I like their music. It's it's quite good. Um, so yeah, I played that a while back when we were playing music in the uh, in the videos. I don't play music anymore, so we don't. You know, it's not in the rotation anymore because it's not a rotation anymore. <laughs> so, um, but it was. Uh, he, he's got uh, he's got some music. I might actually I don't know. See about. Uh, Asking for advice on making my own music or something like that, but anyway, I've uh, I've joined his server. We're we're still thinking up stuff about it. Um, peeps are like need need, need some time to, to kind of get things set up. It's a lot of new YouTubers, similar to uh, to me. Some people with some viewers, some people without so many viewers. People who are just excited to start making content on the server and, and have a, a similar kind of uh, feel to the Hermitcraft kind of stuff, um, which is like exactly what I was looking for and then it just kind of like fell into my lap like crazy right I was literally just like talking about it it was it was Friday I believe that this ended up going down and I believe on Friday we ended up having a video where I talked about my plans to have a hermit crafty style video hopefully hermit craft eventually but you know end up uh, joining whatever I can at the time and then like literally hours later he's, he's just like talking about it and I'm just like yeah this is exactly what I want um, so I had a schedule we're gonna be starting up the uh, the multiplayer server as well uh, the SMP I don't know if you guys can see that but uh, if you can um, somebody's playing hotline Miami one that was the person who told me that it was on sale for five bucks which is kind of funny I don't know if you guys can see it so much, but it was there, so. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, it's ahead of schedule, but, like, at the same time, I'm pretty excited about it. we got a couple of members on the server at this point. Uh, I'm kind of taking on an administrative role on the server, um, because I have a lot of experience running servers. I just don't like the interpersonal conflict resolution kind of stuff. Um, I don't like the, like, recruiting people and, and handling all of this. Like, that's... The kind of stuff I don't like. Making the actual server and setting it up and making it work and all that is not that bad. The The problem that I have is, like, I don't want to also have to worry about making, like, recruitment posts and then, like, screening people and handling all this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, that's too much for me. Um, so he's going to be handling all that. I'm handling the back-end stuff. Um, we're going to have, like... Uh, crowdfunded kind of uh, like a crowdfunded um, whatchamacallit hey buddy How, I thought that she could pull me through walls and stuff um, we're gonna like a crowdfunded not necessarily you guys but like within ourselves um, for the uh, server costs which uh, actually if you guys know anywhere that you can do that that would be fantastic to like let me know. I want uh, what I want is a like a GoFundMe kind of thing where I can invite members rather than just like let the public pay for it. Like a I don't know, like 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 a fund, like a group fund, because we got you know a few members on the server and. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to make sure everybody can pay what they want. And, uh, like, put that into a fund and then use that fund to pay for it rather than, like, people giving me money or, or giving this other person my, my like, a, a, like, rather than giving somebody money and then letting that person pay for it, it would be nice if we could put it into, like, a specific fund. And then use that fund to pay for it, you know? I'm not sure if there's anywhere that kind of, like, lets that happen. Um, because that seems like a big risk to take on as a company, honestly. But it would be really nice if it did exist. Like a Patreon, but, uh... 
for like so you start servers you know I don't know it, it would be really really nice to have it I don't know if it exists if you guys know of anything like that like please do let me know I would like really really love to know um, some way to make that work because uh, otherwise it's gonna be like you know somebody's PayPal account ends up um, doing it right which is and it's probably gonna be mine because I'm the one who's gonna need to have all the info to the server and stuff um, but yeah uh, it's 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 uh, it's definitely I don't know we'll have to figure something out we've got a bit of time left before we actually have to worry about um, setting up the server and getting people on it like um, somebody's moving and they don't want to like spend money on a Minecraft server <laughs> and and like invest their time into YouTube and stuff while they're like moving and buying a new house and stuff you know like that definitely seems like a bad idea when when it's like a month away you just wait a month and then get started then you know um, hey buddy so we got like a month at least until uh, the server goes live. I need to get stuff working before that because I have to work on, um, like, the, like, I'm working on all the back end stuff. I'm writing a custom server wrapper in Python for it. Uh, I've got a couple of cool things for it. I want to get, um, like, map views and stuff set up for it. And, like, I got a lot of stuff to, to kind of work on on the back end, which is kind of going to take up a lot of time, but, like, also not really. I'm pretty good at, at, uh, technical stuff like that so I don't know I got a couple of plans for it I actually got uh, I got one cool plan which I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, the server wrapper that I'm gonna write in Python is going to also have a discord client um, so people who type in game and are chatting in game uh, those messages will get sent in discord and then deleted after a certain amount of time because that's just kind of how that works. Um, I might also implement some kind of like whisper, like custom command stuff or whatever. I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to see how uh, how stuff works. Just just because like I know that um, I don't know. Well, we'll have we'll have. Uh, I'm I'm planning on making anyway a, a custom server wrapper and then might end up intercepting the uh, the like socket and uh monitoring the the like traffic and and the packets and stuff and then like kind of managing it from there and then seeing if we can make like custom commands and stuff like that but that's going to be a little bit more complicated i would like to do it it would be really cool to uh but you know you gotta kind of make it happen first so yeah be a fun project nonetheless uh, the only thing that I'm really working on like definitely gonna make happen or definitely gonna try to make happen is uh, the discord to, to minecraft kind of chat so you can be in discord you know on your phone or whatever and still see what people are chatting in game or, or like actually involve yourself in the chat because that's not that complicated it doesn't involve like intercepting packets or anything like that um, so yeah because that's just like you monitor the output from the the server and then like read the chat if it's a chat message then you send it to discord in, in some format or something where is everybody dude um and then uh when somebody sends a message in discord you just you know send it in the uh in the server jar just like you know say this right with with their name and stuff and end up uh, just fine um so that's that's not a too terribly complicated to to get set up i don't think um i think it should be pretty okay um but uh definitely if i want to implement any kind of custom commands or anything like that like you know being able to to whisper to somebody or something like that that would require some packet interception um, because otherwise the server jar doesn't like see that you send 
a bad like the server doesn't like the the server doesn't output a, an error when you send an invalid command but it does receive the command and then just not do anything with it um, so what you have to do is a server wrapper if you're writing a wrapper for it uh, what you have to do is you have to intercept the packets um, detect when somebody says whatever command you want and then run a command in the uh, in the servers like you know CLI to, to make something happen and that's a little bit more complicated for sure um, it's like doable but it, it is definitely a little bit more complicated um, no doubt so we'll see if that ends up happening um, but definitely the like server to discord implementation should be pretty simple I think should be pretty straightforward so I'm excited about that um, we're gonna have like the the interactive map on the server as well probably like the way that I'm gonna handle it for that uh, is just like use the backups like display the backup well we've taken a backup every few hours probably um, and then we'll just like use the latest backup for the the map just so that there's definitely no um, like issues with uh, I don't know corrupting data or whatever you know so like the backups fairly recent it's good enough um, I don't know how to make that work like the interactive maps and stuff um, but if I can make it happen I would really love to Uh, so yeah, I've got I've got kind of all that technical stuff to work on, which is is again fine. I like it. I enjoy it. It's uh, also like not that complicated. Most of the stuff that I'm doing, I don't think it'll take that long. Like I got a month and a half or something like that to make it all work. Right? It's not gonna take me a month and a half to make it work. So I'm not putting it off. Um, I'm definitely not like procrastinating it and being like, well, I can just do it last minute. You know, I can just like put it together at like, you know, like, I'll give myself a week to do it. Didn't know what hit no, 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 no. Like I'm gonna give myself ample time to do it. I'm gonna get started on it fairly soon, but not today. It's not procrastination. It's uh, time management. <laughs> Which is, I guess, a, a fun way to earn a uh, one way to to say procrastination. But hey, it's not. You know, it's it's fine. It's fine. Um. So, we'll uh, we'll get that going. But yeah, it was kind of a, it was kind of an interesting or fun coincidence. Go the ghost. That was muted. That was muted. The ghost. It's spooky. It's spooky, dude. Apparently, they spawn like all over the place or something like that, and. Uh, there's like some other stuff that kind of happens. There's some apparitions and paranormal activity. Hey, buddy. I love how powerful the gunslinger is. You just see a flesh pound and you just point and click, you know? Oh, what's different between this and uh, Desponia? Was it? I don't remember what it was called. Disponia? Deponia? I don't know, dude. I didn't see that fireball coming. I was just lucky that I stepped out of the way. I can't take credit for that one. I'll take credit where credit is due. Credit is not due there. Now, when they spawn enraged like this, it's a little bit harder to just point and click. But, yeah, it was, it was a fun coincidence, right? I'm looking, not looking, but uh, interested in, anyway, um, a server to be similar to Hermitcraft, and then my friend is just like, hey, I'm opening a server similar to Hermitcraft, how do I, like, make this work? I'm like, oh, I can just do it for you. Just let me play on it as well. Because he didn't know what to do, and I know what to do, so, you know, he handles the... The, the, the sort of uh, human side of things, and I handle the computer side of things. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fair trade. 
So yeah, I, I definitely didn't want to uh, personally own a server and run a server again because like I, I just don't want to. Um, and then and then now it's kind of like a, a co-owning situation here, with uh, with somebody else being the the one who does all the stuff that I don't want to do, and me being the one who does all the stuff that they don't know how to do. Um, I would like to, to note that um, one of it is something that I don't want to do, and one of it is something that he doesn't know how to do, which I think makes him kind of the better person in this situation, because he's willing to do something he doesn't know how to do, whereas I'm not willing to do something that I do know how to do. Hey, buddy! You ever shot about? You ever thought about not shooting me with missiles? Like, just for once in your life? Like, oh my god! You're gonna, you're gonna shoot, but it's not gonna hit me because I'm standing right underneath you, right? I didn't know if that would work, but I wanted to try it, and it did. So, new, uh, new tech. <laughs> yeah. So. I guess the server's coming soon. The multiplayer stuff's going to be happening. It's going to be fun. Again, it's going to be similar to Hermitcraft, so if you like that, uh, and you're looking for something that's like that, but worse, like, we'll have it. And we'll all be YouTubers and streamers and stuff, and we'll have collaborations and games and, and things happening, and it's going to be so cool. I'm excited for it. It's all I've ever wanted. Anyway. I have no idea how I got 1,100 pistol kills in the game. I really like genuinely don't. Cuz that's I believe specifically the 9 mil. Like what boggles my mind is that my most kills is only like 1575 and then I also have like almost that with with pistol kills which is like you what mate? <laughs> Healing I get, endless healing, you can get some big numbers. Dosh, I get Again, endless. Headshots? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Pistol kills, though? Like, that's insane. Uh, here's the stats, by the way, because it's about to disappear, and here's the XP and stuff. We're actually getting up to 25 survivalists. Like, it's actually working. I thought it would, like, be a meme, and it would take forever. Nah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, happening. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Um... Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. We won't be playing Biolabs. I mean, we might, but I'm not recording anymore today, so I just go, boop, it's gone now. See ya. Bye.